What's up you drone lovers? Today's a fun day because I get to introduce to you the DJI Avada 2. This is DJI's third FPV drone and second in the Avada series, which you can learn more about the original below. FPV is fun and immersive, and the DJI Avada 2 makes it easy for any beginner to learn. With improvements to the sensor, battery life, transmission, video quality, storage, and most of all the new easy acro modes, there's actually a lot to talk about. Plus, I should also mention there's a new pair of goggles and two new remotes, so let's dive right into it. The new version has a sleeker design and is more in line with the built-in propeller guards. And the propellers themselves have changed from a five blade system to a three blade system. So unfortunately that does mean your extra original Avada parts will not transfer over. Now those of you familiar with the original design, know getting into the micro SD slot was a bit of a pain. But now access is right on the side next to the USB-C port used for charging and data transfer. And speaking of data, the Avada 2 now includes 46 gigs of internal storage. The drone also features repositioned back downward facing sensors, which will visually alert operators when they are flying low to the ground. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with FPV drones, it's an immersive first person flight experience, or in short, it's one of those drones that can go really fast that you might've seen on Instagram. And the Avada 2 is perfect for beginners learning the basics, as well as professionals looking to have more features and control over their drone while flying. The Avada 2 now utilizes an upgraded one over 1.3 inch CMO sensor with an ultra wide 155 degree field of view. The camera is capable of 12 megapixel photos, up to 4K 60 FPS HDR video, and can record in 10-bit D-Log-M, allowing for a more visually striking color grade in post-production. The Avada 2 utilizes DJI's 04 video transmission, which gives slightly increased transmission distances of 13 kilometers, and the new battery promises 23 minutes of flight time. Those of you who purchased the Fly More combo like we have, will receive the two-way charging hub capable of charging three batteries at a time. The Avada 2 is controlled using the RC Motion 3 controller or the FPV Remote Controller 3, which I don't have with me today as it's not included in the Fly More combo. But that's totally fine because the controls with the newly designed RC Motion 3 controller are simple and user friendly. So that's all I needed to use. The RC Motion 3 controller is a five button, one handed remote with an acceleration trigger and joystick. It has a power button, a record button, and the dial that allows operators to control the camera's tilt. The mode switch also acts as a return to home button. The bright orange button is used to take off and land and can act as a hard brake that stops the drone in its tracks. Honestly, this button is the main line of your safety. The trigger allows you to control your acceleration as well reverse flight. And the joystick is your main controller when utilizing the new easy acro modes that allow your drone to perform some really cool acrobatic moves. Now, while I was really looking forward to showing you the easy acro modes, it seems like the firmware won't be available until the release. So for now, I'll just explain it. Easy acro mode gives the operator the ability to flip, roll, and perform quick 180 drifts and allow for more complex and acrobatic movements with just the touch of the joystick. The Avada 2 also features head tracking, which follows the motion of the Goggles 3 in conjunction with being controlled with the RC Motion 3. So I'm gonna be transparent here. While I've flown tons of drones, FPV isn't something I've spent a tremendous amount of time with. And this is my first time flying with the motion controller. After a bit of getting used to, I honestly felt super comfortable flying with it and the motion control just felt natural. I was able to make dives down the side of the cliff, quick turns, but most of all being able to fly low to the ground and cruising just above the water while I felt like I had full control was pretty amazing. Now as a left-handed person, I was happy to see that controller actually has the option to switch hand, but that seems to mainly be a calibration thing rather than functional. So DJ, if I could offer one bit of advice for the next remote, Maybe just add another record button on this side, because when I use it, the record button is always hidden. With a new and upgraded controller system, that of course means you have a new headset. The DJI Goggles 3 are a sleek and upgraded headset which use fewer wires, or should I say wireless. Those of you who have used DJI FPVs in the past will be pleased to now know the Goggles 3 hold an internal charge and no longer require a battery or wires dangling from ports. The only port the goggles have are a USB-C port for charging, but it can also be used when connected to the DJI Fly app to utilize a smartphone or a tablet as a monitor. But what's also really cool is even if you forget your wire behind, you can still use your phone as a monitor. In the goggles, select the share live view option and using Wi-Fi in the DJI Fly app, you can connect so others can see what you see. In order to select through modes, settings, and functions, the goggles have a joystick and the back button. The view inside the goggles is adjustable using the knobs on the bottom, and between the eyes, there's a proximity sensor and a slot for your micro SD to record your screen. The goggles are adjustable to the head and come with additional padding if needed. 
There are two antennas on the front for signal, and you'll notice two little cameras like little eyes. That's because the Goggles 3 support picture in picture. Double tap on either side of the headset and the operator will have a live view through the goggles in order to check their surroundings without having to take off the headset. You can also do this by double clicking the dial on the remote. And as you may have noticed, DJI has ditched the touchpad so you can now toggle the menus using the joystick or using the RC Motion 3. Overall, my experience with the Vada 2 truthfully was an absolute blast. Having the drone for the last few days, I was able to easily adjust to flying with the RC Motion 3 controller so much so that I wasn't afraid to fly low to the ground at times because I was able to utilize the sensors to know my positioning. The wide angle field of view also made the visuals so much more immersive and a truly unique experience. While the easy acro modes will surely be a feature that creates eye catching elements to your content. Users looking to get into FPV flying for the first time should feel secure knowing even though flying FPV is more of a manual experience that the Avada 2 has all the tools for a novice to become a pro. So tell us in the comments below. What captivating footage would you get with a DJI Avada 2? I'm Joe with BNH, and you keep flying.